So I've always had a passion uh, for creating things, whether it be oil paintings or little sculptures or um, video projects. I actually really found my footing with video and I discovered that it was sort of a second language to me. Um, it, it was something I kind of pursued when I was in high school and grow, going into college I always wanted to pursue a career that would allow me to uh, do more with the craft of video and film. Concurrent to that, I also wanted to explore other mediums to play around with and I just kind of stumbled onto Lego. They had started doing more adult oriented lines through their Lego Ideas uh, brand and they had also uh, launched a, a video game called Lego Dimensions which introduced many figures of, of uh, popular culture, uh, pop culture ca characters uh, like uh, Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, Powerpuff Girls and so on. When I decided upon the Sesame Street project, it became a project that kept me busy for a few months. I spent a lot of time researching and really understanding what Sesame Street meant to so many people. Uh, Sesame Street is a brand that has a 50-year heritage. It's a pop culture icon that has really uh, shaped not just kids but a whole culture of creatives. Um, a lot of creative people will say that it was their exposure to Sesame Street, reading, writing, counting, and, and learning uh, really you know, about stories that, that, that gave their initial, uh, that started them on this creative path. And I wanted to capture some of that. And so when you look at my set, it's not the Sesame Street of today. Sesame Street no longer really looks like the set that I, I built. There are similarities, but this is the Sesame Street of our youth. Um, the facade is based on Sesame Street of the 1970s and 80s. In addition to that, there were a lot of creative challenges, posed some difficulties in translating a fictional uh, building uh, to, a, to a real three-dimensional uh, design. Some of these include, if you're familiar with the, sh the, the, the sketch Elmo's World, um, the entire room is actually a crayon sketch. And so, how do you transpose crayon artwork into Lego bits? And I came up with the idea of creating the same look using mosaics, Lego mosaics. When I do build uh, something or create something, I try to do a lot of research. People who know me from my film school days would actually, uh, some people would say I, I was like an encyclopedia because I was always trying to research old films or, or references. Um, and that's the same sort of discipline that I, I brought into um, my craft for Lego. Um, I really liked researching little details and understanding how things are connected and how much you can push an idea further. Find your craft and be the best at it. Be the best person in the world at it. When I started doing pre-makes, nobody had done it. And I tried to be the very best person in the world at it. Uh, to the point that it, it, there were other people who started doing pre-makes as well and there were sites calling me the father of pre-makes, you know. Um, so I, I believe there are so many unique niches in um, the creative world and you can find your own creative niche and be the very best person at it.